It is a first alert weather day. Take a look at this rain. We have team coverage this morning from Jerrica Phillips, Brittany Bryant, and Janine Gordon. They are working to keep you safe. And Andrew Douglas is in the Alert Center working on severe flooding in Arkansas. The National Guard soldiers have been deployed to that area. He will have the latest from Arkansas for us. Plus, breaking news, a gas station robbed. What we know this morning from investigators. Also, two sisters missing. How police need your help and where the girls were last seen. Today, today will be one of those days. Soggy, damp, and rainy meteorologist Brittany Bryant tracking it all from the First Alert Weather Center. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Kim. Most of us waking up to rain. This shower's uh, draped over eastern Arkansas and Shelby County and several spots in other spots in West Tennessee and North Mississippi. Oxford, you're dry right now, but that rain is moving in your direction. Same story in Ripley, Corinth, Bolivar, Somerville, and Selmer. Only a few sprinkles for you, but this heavier rain is pushing in your direction and will be ar arriving in our eastern counties likely within the next 45 minutes to an hour. Now, right now, if you're located anywhere in the 240 loop, heavy rain rain for you. Also now Millington being impacted by these showers. Collierville, you are right on the line. So give yourself about five more minutes until this rain starts entering your area. If you're leaving the house and you live anywhere in Shelby County, if you're leaving within the next 30 minutes, you are likely going to have some slowdowns. I would uh, give yourself at least 30 more minutes to get where you're going this morning, at least if you're leaving soon. Uh, four spots in North Mississippi right now, uh, getting that heavy rain pushing through portions of Batesville, Como, and into Hernando. Our friends in DeSoto County, just some light Light rain for you right now, but that's still going to cause some wet roadways. So right there along 55 in between Horn Lake and Hernando, uh, spots that are waking up to that rain. Same story in Olive Branch right now. A few sprinkles hitting your windshield, but some heavier rain right behind that. Uh, so you will have some on and off heavy downpours throughout the day. Now, uh, resuming out here, still getting some of the heavier rain just north of here. Uh, but looking like we're going to start seeing some clearing in eastern Arkansas within the next few minutes. But that is now going to be impacting us here in West Tennessee. So western portions of Tipton County getting in on that rain right now. A few sprinkles for Covington at the moment, uh, but don't worry, that heavy rain isn't too far away. It's uh, making its way into Gilt Edge right now. Atoka, that heavy rain is also moving in your direction. I'll continue to track this with First Alert Doppler 5 coming up here in my First Alert forecast, and I'll tell you how long that rain will last today. Let's see if that rain is causing any accidents this morning. Janine? Well, right now, of course, the roads are wet, but they are accident-free. That's the best news that I can give to you right now at 502. Good morning. Your first alert traffic report sponsored by your Mid-South Chevy dealers. But a few things to keep in mind. Check those wipers before you leave. And as you travel throughout the morning, keep the headlights on low beam. Of course, you do want to slow down just in case there's standing water on parts of the roadways or the interstate. Here's a quick look outside with our TDOT Smartway camera just so you can see what's going on. The rain is coming down. This is a great picture on the south leg of I-240. Westbound, eastbound there between Lamar and Getwell. I'll I'll continue to keep my eye on the roadways to keep you safe this Thursday morning. The roads are wet this morning as you get ready to start your Thursday. WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips live in Storm Track 5 with a look at some Mid South roads. And I know it's a rainy commute out there. What's it looking like, Jerrica? Good morning, Andrew. It is going to be a rainy commute for you as you travel out this morning, but we are definitely taking the storm tracker out to let you know exactly what the roads are looking like before you head out the door. You can also, of course, head on over to our website and you can track those storms from our app, uh, from your mobile phone. As you wake up this morning, the first thing a lot of people do is check their phones. But again, we are out on the roads this morning. We're going to be an eye, uh, a, a bird's eye right here on the uh, road. Uh, showing you what the roads are looking like and traveling out and letting you know uh, what to avoid as you travel out. But again, roads are definitely wet this morning and Storm Tracker, we're riding around kind of showing you exactly what it looks like. This Poplar Avenue right now here in Midtown near McLean. But we're going to be out here throughout the morning, so stay right here with us as we track storms in the Storm Tracker 5. Reporting live, Jerrica Phillips, WMC Action News 5. Okay, Jerrica, I'm here in the Alert Center. It is 504 on a Thursday, and we are watching uh, the flooding here. This is continuing in-depth team coverage on the weather. Dozens of National Guardsmen have been deployed in northeastern Arkansas, some of the heaviest hit areas where that heavy flooding is. We want you to take a look at the flooding here. Unbelievable pictures that were broadcast by our sister station in Jonesboro. So we're talking about Lawrence, Randolph, Clay County, some of the hardest hit areas here. 
More than 100 National Guardsmen are aiding in evacuation efforts there. The, the levee was breached there in several different spots. In fact, nine different spots here. And it really shows and provides what kind of landscape you're looking at. People are being warned not to enter the flooded areas or attempt to check in on their homes or businesses. So far, 36 rescues have been made since this flooding began. At least 50 homes destroyed in Randolph County. That's the Jonesboro, Por Pocahontas area. 150 homes have been damaged. Total assessment of the damage not known at this time. Investigators say the floodwaters are expected to stabilize at around 27 feet. But here's the bad news. More rain is on the way. A dusk to dawn curfew remains in effect. I'm certainly watching right now here in the Alert Center. By the way, if you are one of those cord cutters out there and you're watching us uh, online, you can watch the WMC Action News 5 broadcast on your TV. We have a free app on Roku. You can get the weather, breaking news, and everything else you need to start your day by going to the Roku and getting that WMC Action News 5 app. Breaking news this morning, an armed robbery at a Memphis convenience store happened at the Marathon gas station in the 3300 block of Winchester near Chulahoma Road. Police got a call about it around 11 last night. Investigators say a robber had a gun when he tried to rob that place. No word on any injuries or whether the robber actually got away with anything. 506 now, more breaking news. Police need your help finding two Mid-South sisters who are missing this morning. WMC Action News 5's Bricks Fowler joins us by phone with where those two girls were last seen. Bricks? Kim, you can only imagine how nervous these sisters' parents are. The two went missing more than 12 hours ago. Here's a picture of both Malia and Makasia Jackson. We looked through records and found that 12 and 13-year-olds were last seen at the Hickory Hill Community Center over on Ridgeway Road. That was around 3.45 Wednesday afternoon. As we dug deeper, we discovered younger sister Malia was last seen wearing a yellow shirt and blue jeans. Makasia had on a pink shirt and blue jeans. Anybody with information on their whereabouts is urged to call Memphis Police. Live, Rick Fowler, WMC, Action News 5. All right, in the Alert Center again, 5.07 the time. Republicans say they have the votes to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. House Republican leaders say they have the votes. They will vote today to pass this measure onto the Senate. Two months ago, a vote on a similar health care bill was pulled before the vote because they simply weren't there. Now, a slightly different bill that includes coverage for pre-existing conditions and an options for the states to opt out of the mandates, and now they say they have the votes they need to pass the House. But just because this bill passes the House does not mean it will pass the Senate. There are still a lot of questions that senators have about it. I'm watching the bill and watching how it advances here in the Alert Center. I am also watching for you this morning Buckingham Palace. It was announced about an hour ago. We have a live picture from above here. You can see the Buckingham Palace area, the circle there. It's a huge destination for a number of different people that visit London. There was news made about an hour ago that Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth II, will stop carrying out public engagements sometime between now and August. He is 95 years old after a while, after all, and Prince Philip will continue heading numer numerous charitable organizations that he's involved in, but he's not going to play an active role in attending engagements that are open to the public. In the past, he has suffered from heart problems, uh, but has maintained a vigorous public schedule, but again, scaling down that schedule for the 95-year-old. Again, that's news happening right now here in the Alert Center. First Alert Weather is sponsored by your Memphis area Honda dealers. Well, I've been tracking this rain here on First Alert Doppler 5 for the next few or for the past few hours, and we're still going to have rain for the next few hours as well. High rain chances this morning. A little bit of a break for some of us as scattered showers move in by late morning, and then that rain chance starts to increase back again with widespread rain by 3 o'clock this afternoon, and we'll keep that rain in the forecast throughout the rest of your evening. So this is what you're waking up to this morning. Heavy rain now entering portions of West Tennessee, including here in Shelby County. Uh, light 
light rain across the 240 loop, but as you're traveling along I-40, getting out of the Bartlett area, uh, headed towards Lakeland, that's where you're going to be impacted by the heaviest rain. Same story in Germantown right now. Heavy rain in your area. I'll continue to track this here on First Alert Doppler 5. I'm about to go live on our WMC Action News 5 Facebook page. I'll talk more about today's weather coming up there on Facebook and in seven minutes right here. Let's get over to Janine to see if this rain slowing you down this morning. Good morning. Ten minutes after five o'clock, your first alert traffic report sponsored by your Mid-South Chevy dealers. Here's a look at I-40. This is right there at Highway 64. You can see that's eastbound traffic, westbound. Not bad at all, but the roadways are wet. I'll give you an additional view right now. Maybe you are headed here. I-240, westbound there. Those motorists are leaving from that Bill Morris Parkway ramp, and they'll continue on toward Perkins and beyond. Be careful as you head out, and don't forget, avoid texting and driving. Tyler Knight on WMC Action News 5 at 10. Mid-South neighbors take action against an illegal campsite that some say is much more than just an eyesore. For more than 10 years, neighbors have had to put up with this. And a woman who called the investigators for help says the people who live inside are dangerous. I turned around, there was a guy standing in my kitchen. He assaulted me and I punched him back. Mm -hmm. And then he picked up my keychain, which had mace on it, and maced me out the front door. Tonight at 10, find out what happened when the WMC Action News 5 investigators stepped in and discover the sordid history behind that setup. Don't miss it tonight after new episodes of Chicago Med and The Blacklist. All right, more Apple jobs coming right here to the United States. I'm going to break down how many jobs are coming here next in the Alert Center. Plus, beware of a Google scheme. We take a look at how the scam works so you won't become a victim. And reading's good for your health, how it can help you.